Baby, you're my cheese that makes me turn around and fit it for that just makes things a okay. And I know this is a superficial, but I know that we've been official. Baby, you're my cheese that makes me turn around and feel this for how just makes things a okay. And I know that it is a superficial, but I know that we've been official since we're king and queen of worlds that don't exist. Baby, when you see me frowning, would you make me smile? If all the girls I listed, you're the first one down. If I am your king, can I wear my crown? Oh, cool. Would you... Oh, damn. Yeah, let me know what good chew toys are on sale. Actually, you know what? If there's anything you guys need to tell me, make, uh, fucking look, look up wrestling or Sonic Pops once in a while. <laughs> And be like, dude, there's a good sale on this one, or bro, there's new ones! That would be the most helpful thing in the world. Yeah, fucking, only a couple, like a month ago, I found out that GameStop straight up gives you a list of things that are coming out. Like, what the fuck? Where was this information in my life? I got lucky that when I found that, I was trying to find a, uh, an Eddie Guerrero pop, and like, I searched four different GameStops for it, and one had them. Uh, I wanted to get two so I could have one in a box, one not in a box, but I think the person behind the counter already pre-ordered two, and there was three, so I didn't want to be that guy. Plus, it looks good as just in the box. And I don't know if you're wondering or not, you're probably not, but um, I'm as a pop collector, I don't keep them in the box. I like to keep them out because I personally think that uh, a collectible that is meant to be visually, visually, um, whatchamacallit, visually appreciated should be appreciated without the packaging. Now, if it's an action figure or something, sure, because, um, Technically, those are more used to be played with instead of being visually a thing. Unless it's like figures that you're supposed to pose, then I guess that's fine. But like, I think those could stay in a box. But a pop, I think, has more um, visual likeness to be outside of its box. Plus, you can, you can, uh, you know, put it in a shelf easier because if it's in the box that's a lot of space like one box is almost three pops of space so if you get more and more you got fucking less space the only ones I have in the box right now is a uh, Zootopia Nick Wilde because I got multiple for like a birthday gift uh, an Eddie Guerrero because I have a uh, my brother has a Wrestlemania 21 action figure that's still in a box, so that would look good next to each other. A Vince McMahon in a box. Uh, in case he passes. It's not the pink suit, but it's still there. If he passes, that would be nice to have in a box. Uh, and a autographed Nikki Bella, where it's autographed by Victoria. So it's, Victoria doesn't have a pop, so that was going to be impossible, but I got an autographed Victoria Funko Pop that I got to see him at my local Comic Con. I didn't get to see Eddie. My f my starting of wrestling was like 2008, like near the end of Jeff Hardy and like start of CM Punk kind of. That's where I label my fixation with WWE is probably the Jeff Hardy CM Punk feud. So, do you, have you seen the part of WWE when the Undertaker pushed Mankind off the hell and so much? Oh yeah. I went through the announce table. My friend said it was improvised on the spot. No. No, they... I th I'm pretty sure they planned that. Like, he wanted to do it, but Undertaker was not really wanting to do it. Until the time came where he's just like, do it. And he's like, well, alright. Him falling through the cell and hitting the mat inside. Where he did like a choke slam and fell through the cell. That wasn't supposed to happen. Bro, they said fucking man- There was signs that says mankind is a god. Once we level everyone to 30, I'm gonna go to that spot and then it'll be the end of stream. 
And I kept my promise. I have longer streams now. I didn't do it yesterday, but I still kind of watch it. I don't watch it on TV. I watch, uh, well, Culture's Ups and Downs because I don't want to watch it anymore. <laughs> Unless it's like pay-per-views, then, then I'll watch it. But, um, whatchamacallit, um, currently I have some friends that randomly just got interested into wrestling. So I've been watching, uh, starting from the first draft they ever had going up and we've only gotten to a couple weeks in Backlash. And it's pretty good. Like, uh, Hulk Hogan just started his first reign back from coming out of NWO. It's pretty neat. WF was wild. I only have faint memories of it. Which is always nice. I don't know any of it. I only remember friends like the fucking 90s were peak. That's probably why. Stone Cold and all that stuff. Honestly, 90s were peak, but for me, I feel like 2000s fucking knocked it out of the park with um, characters and in ring. But what do I know? AKA Ruthless Aggression, whatever. Attitude versus Ruthless Aggression. Did I get 30? Oh, this should be it. Didn't we get people like Rikishi and Goldust blessing us in the 2000s? We had Goldust from like the 80s to now. <laughs> <laughs> we still have gold dust. <laughs> when was he good? Um, he was good in the 80s and then good in the 2000s. A little good in the 2010s and then 2020s. He's doing phenomenal. From what I know, I don't watch his, I didn't watch his matches because it's on AEW, but it's from what I know. Uh, Rikishi was in the 2000s. He was also in the 90s. Um, most people that came and, like, starred in the 2000s was, like, RVD. Well, RVD was kind of 90s, but mostly 2000s, I would guess. No. Well, no, no. 2000s. Uh, RVD. Kane was still good. Undertaker was still good. Triple H was on a tear. Uh, John Cena was born. Kurt Angle. Uh, Booker T. Basically a lot of big names. Rock was still good. Oh man, fucking... The 90s were such a different time. They, hang, they hung a guy. They hung a guy on live TV and it was fine. They dragged a, uh, they dragged a, uh, by the way, the guy was fine. Um, they, uh, they, they dragged a coffin at a funeral. They did that too. Um, they tried to crucify Stephanie McMahon. They did that. They tried to crucify Stone Cold too. Uh, they try to chop a guy's dick off. Um, 2000s, they had uh, necrophilia. <laughs> um, they've had a lot of stuff. They've, they've done a lot of bad. And what's crazy is that nowadays, fucking storytelling so fucking boring that... Fuck, I'd rather have that. <laughs> Yo, ECW was a fucking its own beast. Dude, that shit was brutal. It's like how Japan has fucking uh, deathmatch types. Dusty, thank you for the follow. You rescue, rescue, I appreciate you. Welcome back, Parker. Hope you enjoy your stay for They got fucking deathmatches where they put. They put. They have like C4 and explosions and shit and spikes and barbed wire and matches where you have to put somebody in goddamn tank full of piranhas to win it's like yo what the fuck dude I, if there's three things in my life that i love more than anything in the world that's sonic that's wrestling and that's the band gorillas that those are my three top things in the world there's other things i like but those are the three top hands down 
Sadly, the only thing I collect is Funko Pops. The only reason for that, though, is because the shit I like, there's not a lot of collectible stuff. Like, I started collecting Funko Pops because wrestling was- that was like the only thing you could collect as a wrestling fan if it wasn't fucking, um, championships, and I'm not gonna spend $300 a championship, you know? I really hope I never get old and see my Funko Pops and be like, I'm gonna sell them. I would only sell them if I knew I was gonna die. Or, well, if- Nah, I'm not gonna have a kid. I'm gay, I can't have a kid. <laughs> I can adopt a kid. Yeah, it's not something to think about right now. But I don't think I would ever sell my pops. Not like they're in sellable condition, they're out of the box. Because I think adopting would be actually beneficial. Because having a kid's cool, but I, I don't think I would want a kid... I don't want to deal with the baby stages. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the baby stages, nor like the little kid stages, like six or seven would be like a good time to adopt a kid, in my opinion. But then again, it's not like I could choose. Can't ch you can't choose that. Sometimes if you, if you go to adoption center and you just see like a kid that you would want to have as your kid, you can't just be like, nah, you're too young. That's fucked up. <laughs> as a person that puts their name as like mama sometimes, that's so fucked up. Cause I I don't I don't know. I don't I don't like I'm not a kid I'm not a, I don't I don't like being around kids. Like I I can have fun with kids. I can I can I can handle kids. I can handle them. I just like if I have a choice to not be around kids, I would rather not. You know? Is that shitty? Is that shitty to say? I don't think so. No, I just uh, There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't... I just don't... I'd rather, I'd rather not deal with the baby stages. It's just a personal preference. But of course, the other half has to put their opinion in it, too. Like, um... My SO says that they, they would be fine with a kid. They just don't... Um, they don't want to deal with the baby stages either. Called designer babies. Uh, that sound. That just. That's wrong. That just sounds wrong. I don't want to. I don't want to fucking make a me baby. <laughs> what a weird conversation. I've been in the same grass patch, and we've talked about Pokemon, wrestling, to adoption. <laughs> yeah, adopting an older kid would be especially good. It's harder for those kids to get adopted normally. Really? Oh, they'll be so happy then. And I bet since they're... Well, obviously it depends, but I bet since they will be adopted, they'll be very, like, grateful. They'll be... They'll be a loving kid, I'm sure. Because they're like, I finally have a family, you know? Obviously that could turn sour, but... Nah, I should heal up my pee, -pee. <laughs> Damn, this conversation got real, didn't it? Well, if, if me and my SO have a kid, it's gonna be fucking, it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna be a good time, honestly, because we'll be, we'll be like the video game parents, and it's like, um, say, say if like a YouTuber couple fucking had a, uh, had a kid, it'll be like, oh, they get video games, I get it, and obviously, um, one of us will be around, so not both of us will be busy with said video games, if at all. Um, if at all playing the video games. Um, but I feel like he would be more technologically advanced as the date as the days go by. Because that, that just tends to happen, doesn't it? They just get better, stronger, smarter. If you if you raise them correctly, I guess. That's also a great point. As the days go by, you might have problems, but loving them as your own through thick and thin is an important thing. Of course. I've, I've said it many times before. It, it makes me so happy that the whole mama 
Sodi thing kind of just came to be is that I honestly feel like I would be a great mom. Like, obviously, just, just title alone and acting like a mom, I feel like I would be a great mom. I, I honestly do. And my SO thinks so too. Because I'm definitely the softer of the both of us. But, I don't know, there's something nice about being like, yeah, I'm caring, I'm calming. It's a wonderful honey. We'll support you through anything. I hate you! <laughs> That'll definitely be crushing. But at the same time, you know they'll come around. Like, well, unless you fuck up multiple times, that is. If you fuck up multiple times, then they're probably not gonna come around at some point. I think. I think. I honestly think that me and my SO will have a good shot at creating a loving kid. But that'll probably be when I'm fuck. If I ever do that, that'll probably be when I'm like 30. And I'm 20, so <laughs> I got time. <laughs> I guess why we're not... Uh, so I guess you watch recordings of old... W I have. Mostly like the main things, but... I'm currently trying to watch more of the Ruthless Aggression Era by like... You know, as it was meant to be watched. I remember a friend and his little brother doing wrestling moves on the couch. They shouldn't have been able to do that. Dude, I did wrestling moves with like a giant stuffed dog that I had. It was like the same size as me, so it was perfect. I did plenty of RKOs, power bombs, choke slams, add two adjustments, spears. I did fucking everything. Imagine doing that with a smaller kid. Well, I think most kids did that when they watch wrestling. They like fought on trampolines and couches and beds and... But they would never do anything. They would just kind of be like next to each other and just kind of be like... They would just kind of do things. We're almost there, big B. We're almost there, big B. This feels good. It feels good to have every Pokemon like reach a new milestone, like, together. Yeah, that my brother would be wrestling moves to me again, though. When I was a kid, I didn't fully grasp the dangers, but now I think of too many ways it could go wrong. What, you wouldn't put, you wouldn't put your brother in a sharpshooter or a, a figure four and let their, you wouldn't put them in an ankle lock? You, you wouldn't break their fucking ankle? What? You got, you're missing the point. <laughs> If you kind of look at it, it looks like he has a toaster head too. It's just his toast is yellow. So it's like the same as his skin. <laughs> it is a real toaster head. Alright, about two more match matches. Two more battles and it'll be good. We'll level up, we'll go to the area, and then we'll uh, we'll call it. Just to make sure. Yay, they're all level 30! Oh, that looks so nice. That means technically I've leveled them all up a total of around... At least a hundred times. hundred twenty- hundred twenty if I want to level them up from zero, but I didn't. Alright, well, since we're on our way there, uh, I hope you really enjoyed this stream. It- it was a pretty good Pokemon stream. I- during the midway, I- I did get a little bit down. I was like, kind of like, I- I lost my jive, it was gone, but for the most part, it was pretty good. We got, we got our, um, we got Sabakala, aka Sandshrew, on our team, which he has a kick-ass slash. Uh, we didn't do any gyms, but we did travel a lot of this world, and uh, we might travel even some more because there's uh, gonna be another opening from where the team Aqua was. That's a cool Pokemon. Oh, did I miss it? I think I missed it. I need to find god damn it I went the wrong way I went I went the wrong way I just want to find where this entrance is so I could save there and my p dumb puppy brain can remember god that turtle is so cool it's even got a headband it's like up here yeah all right uh, save perfect Ah, uh, yes, indeedy. 
That sounds lovely to me. Cloak has saved the game. Hooray! Hey, I have a Twitch. Come check it out for more VODs like this. Rawr!